Hi, this is Florian from LifeScienceMentor.com. Today I'm talking about 13 ideas for meetups that you could start right now um, on meetup.com and uh, maybe other channels as well. The first meetup would be um, career changers. This would include everyone who has recently changed his career or is in the process of doing so and um, also people that want to change their careers but can't really figure out how. Right? So um, everyone can share their progress, um, their ideas, maybe they have some connections they can share uh, and to make sure that everyone uh, participates you would have a hot seat where uh, every time somebody talks about his efforts, his success, um, and shares what has worked for him and what he wants to still improve. That would be number one. Number two, paying it forward. It's basically um, doing random acts of kindness. And you could share what you want to do and um, get together to volunteer. If you do like small things already, like pay someone behind you in line, uh, the coffee at Starbucks, or um, or just smile at someone, or maybe even talk to a homeless person and um, just listen to what he has to say. Uh, that goes a long way for yourself to train yourself more in in altruism and empathy. And if you can be part of something bigger than yourself then you may discover uh, your purpose, your passion. And also, whatever you want to sell, right? you want to know whether this product that you produce or the service that you offer is actually helping people, right? So a good step to figure that out is to volunteer or to, to yeah, as I said, do some acts of kindness. Just get talking with people, do something nice for them, Help them if they are sh trying to balance a huge palette of, of things. Um, if they are moving something, just help them move one box. Uh, stuff like that. If you train yourself more in doing these and spotting these opportunities, um, then I believe you have, a, you have a more fulfilled life. And uh, the group could just discuss different methods to do that. People could share their own experiences. And then maybe everyone could... Um, every time the group meets, after they share, everyone could um, come up with uh, one thing they have to do until the next meetup, and then they share that. That would be second idea for a meetup group. Um, third idea, uh, board games. So, lots of people are now playing, I mean, people are hooked up to their phones, or they play online video games. Um, I believe there's a thirst for people to get together with others and have real interactions or you know, interactions with real people that are sitting there and playing a game is a good way to get together and, and have some fun. Yeah, I know there are other ways to have fun, but um, uh, playing a board game is, uh, is at least the first step. And, um, you know, in that group everyone would participate because that's just the nature of games. And um, from that group, number four could evolve. Um, I've called that game players and developers, right? So maybe maybe you have so much fun with one specific game, like Scotland Yard or Settlers, and then you have some additional ideas, right? So you could come up with uh, maybe a modification of that game or some additional game that you that you can build for yourself to share with your friends, or maybe even Maybe that's even a passion of yours and you find an idea that, that a lot of people like, then you can actually go and do that as a business, right? Why not? And you could get together with other game developers that, that build board games, um, at least to share ideas, that's a great, that's, that would be a great way. Number five, supplements and herbs. There are several substances that people use to enhance uh, their life and enhance their experience in the gym, um, help them with diet. For example, um, I'm taking Lipodrine 
against uh, that's basically a feed rat against uh, against fat. I mean to promote fat loss. Um, vitamins. If you have a diet that doesn't include much vegetables, then using vitamins is a good step um, to supplement that. Zinc to sub to, to boost up testosterone production. And um, for mental enhancement and for enhancement of focus, right? Nootropics like modafinil or even kratom. And lots more of these supplements and vitamins and herbs, they are all around, but they're not good, they're not good, um, they're not many, um, there are some good websites there, but there are not many good sources around. Or there are sources around, but you kind of have to know where to look for them. A lot of sources are really bad also when you like, they just have some affiliate site about like lots of supplements and they want to make a quick buck. No guarantee whether the quality is really good and um, also uh, no quality that your favorite vendor has good quality stuff. So it would be useful if you have if you have a, some meetup group with people that can tell you about um, where to find good quality supplements, give you a good plan, which supplements to take if you want to improve your efforts in the gym or if you if you have a if you have a mentally um, demanding job and, and need some something to focus, so what substances are good to use there? Um, sub, some substances you need to be need to have a prescription from the doctor, um, and some are freely available. It would be good to clear that up. Um, what is which, right? Basically, and then maybe you could even have people there that. Um, that are psychologists or are like uh, you know so are scientists and know a little bit about the effects. So it would be interesting to know why specific supplements work and what vitamins and minerals really do in your body, in your mind. So um, having a group together that shares these experiences uh, would be a good thing to have, I think. And that would be my suggestion for meetup group number five, I believe. Let me check. Yes, number five: herbals and supplements. Number six, an adventure trip meetup. So if you're looking into having a little bit more fun with your holiday, not just go see some museum, but go take a trip into nature, maybe go into more like more remote areas, um, you know, that would be, or maybe even do something crazy like a zero gravity flight in, a, in an airplane. That would be something that, uh, that could be a good group about it. You know, one person could, could, um, could collect all people's uh, wishes and desires and ideas for for a cool, interesting holiday. Then, um, so you have a list of national parks or great places to visit. Then everyone shares what they want to experience. Mountain climbing, water skiing, mingling with locals. And um, then you can choose a spot from the list. And then another person is in charge of researching ways to get there, um, another one is studying the place and so on. So you could really make that an effort where everyone contributes and so you can organize um, uh, very efficiently a trip, uh, adventure, journey that's maybe not so easy to realize when you're a single person. Number seven, weapons and traditional hunting or fighting. Right, so how how do people use modern ancient weapons? Uh, you see in lots, lots of uh, uh, movies, people do sword fights, right? And it seems so easy. But in reality, you know, you have, um, you're in chain mail. So maybe people in medieval times, they couldn't move their swords quite as fast. And I would be curious to know more about that. And um, why not have some people on such a meetup that come teach you, that have experience in that? So maybe there are some archers that can teach you about arching. Maybe they can take you take you to a shooting range where they teach you handling about some more exotic weapons. Um, and um, uh, you can yeah you can use you can organize trips um, and um, practical exercises as well as the theory behind weapon weaponry and that would be something I'd be interested in and. Um, that could be one group 
one meetup group. I'm sure there are enough people that are, that are that have a genuine interest in weapons as well. Expatriates. So since I'm a German, uh, it's great from time to time to get together with other Germans that are also in the U.S. And um, yeah, you just make a make a meetup group, and you can share, in my case, German recipes, or you could celebrate traditions like the um, like the um, traditions like um, Christmas celebration where you have mulled wine. In New York, you can't have mulled wine outside. And if you go to Germany, even the Christmas market, the delicious aroma of mulled wine is seeping in everyone's noses, and it's it's really it somehow signals like um, happy tradition for me. And uh, and um, everyone standing around these Christmas market, around like a big, big um, canister of mulled wine, noses red from frost, later on the face as well from standing above the mulled wine. And yeah, traditions like that are just great to share with other people. And and um, if you have a if you have a group of other expatriates that know about your country's traditions, then you can have a party and maybe you can even uh, invite some some people like some, yeah, some of your American friends in my case and, and share. Um, I believe that thinking about our tradition um, makes us stronger. So it's good to, to, um, to have, yeah, to have get together with people that are from your countries. Same also true for Americans that are in, that are living in Europe or, um, I don't know, people from South America that have married an American or, you know, things like that. If you have an expatriate group, that would be great. I'm sure there are already those groups on Meetup. That was just one additional idea I had as well. Number 10, your favorite website. So several websites like Danger and Play, um, they have seminars now. Um, Matt Forney has regular Meetups. Um, Rouge V had his had his world tour in summer, and um, James Altucher's Choose Yourself has spawned several Choose Yourself groups. So why wait until the website owner makes a get together? Why not have I don't know a Danger and Play meetup within within uh, within with others that are living in the same city that you live. So, in addition, you could also pick pick some somebody who knows about a specific topic on that website. For example, um, if you have a website, if you're a fan of a website that talks about juicing, vegetable juice and fruit juice, then maybe some of the readers have already been juicing for two or three years. And they can give a little talk about their experiences. And then you can really learn more. And you don't only read about these topics, but you hear them directly from people that, that, that know more about them and have experienced that themselves. And um, that actually would be a great step to make to make the community around the website more, more dynamic, right? So you have new topics, you, you realize that there are some, some people that really know a lot about a specific topic. And um, then maybe you can have additional ideas, um, you know, what, what else to do with that, with that given topic, right? Um, and so then new topics can grow out existing topics from the website and it's really with people that have the experience so that would be that would be um, that would be a great meetup group number 11 um, I call problem solvers so the members of that group could share their most pressing needs can be anything like a household or something about their health or some diet they try to follow, or like they, they have troubles, procrastination, anything. And then there are other people who have experience with that and can provide a possible solution. And you rarely find an exact fit, but if people have introduced others to their pain points and then other people come up with ideas to solve them, maybe you could even come up with a solution right there. Maybe you have something that needs to be done in the household and you quite don't know how to how to... Um, how to put a new stuck ceiling in your apartment, but maybe there's a stucker to it somewhere, right? He could directly help you. So um, that would be, I call it problem solvers. Music. Music. So 
maybe you play cello or violin. I play the cello. Maybe you have a guitar and uh, you want to play, you want to form a band. So there are lots of orchestras already all over cities, major cities, but maybe you only want to get together with a few people, right? You don't want to join a big orchestra. Um, then, you know, you can, you can find that via meetup. Or you can maybe ask a violin maker to put a flyer out where you look for uh, other people that want to form a chamber music group with you. Or you ask the owner of a bar to put out an advertisement for your little band. And then you can get people from like already from a very highly targeted audience to respond to you. And then you can get together and have a little jam session. That would be a great idea. Um, and the last idea is... Um, person-to-person -person meetings and well you don't really need a big meetup group you can um, you can just go over to your neighbor and just talk a little bit with them and then maybe even like share beer with him or her at one point right that's a very simple concept of building a building a meetup group and with that I close my uh, introduction about groups uh, that you can form via meetup or other means and I hope you like it I hope I can inspire you a little bit and if you have more ideas feel free to add them I'll answer every comment that you leave and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it I really appreciate it and then the more people like the videos the more people can actually see them on Google and um, otherwise I'm looking forward to seeing you again on my journey tomorrow. All the best and have a nice evening.